Uh, I've been married, uh, I'll be married 11 years this month. Thank you. Marriage is hard. At least that's what my wife keeps telling me. I find it all rather easy. So, but it's, the secret to a good marriage, what I've learned in my years, communication. Communication. If you can just avoid it. <laughs> you will be amazed at how that greases the wheels through life. I love it. I love the stages of marriage. You know what? I like around Valentine's Day and uh, my anniversary's in March, so I'm in the card store. I, I, I love watching people in card stores around Valentine's Day. You, know, you can tell exactly where they're at in the relationship. Then you spot a newlywed guy a mile away in a card store. Because <laughs> they're reading the cards. <laughs> Oh, it's adorable. Like, they're like three or four of them. They're like stressed out trying to figure out which one captures how they feel. Like, I just can't tell. I'm in there. I don't have time to read the cards, man. I got to go in there. I just peruse cards now. That's where I'm at. I just go in there and go, okay, let's see. We got one that's red. It's got a heart on it. Blah, blah, blah. Love you. Blah, blah, blah. Always. Okay, we're done here. Check out. I don't have time, and I'm at the point, if my wife found out I was in a card store reading the card, she would kill me. You know, I got, I got to make sure my card makes a, it kind of doesn't make sense. I got to get her like a bar mitzvah card. <laughs> Otherwise, she's like, is this where you were Saturday all morning? Read, walking the mall and reading cards while I'm at home feeding the kids? Mm-hmm. Uh-uh. And how you guys, uh, everybody surviving the economy Okay. Everywhere. I mean, they're bad in our state. You guys know uh, the Tonto Land Bridge, Natural Land Bridge? They closed it. They shut it down. We can't afford to operate a rock. <laughs> it's been there for a million years, doing what it's done for a million years. How do you, how do you say, oh, we got to shut this down? <laughs> no way, we just can't run it. Cost too much money to keep that rock being a rock. It's scary. And everybody, all these companies are doing all these crazy things trying to make a buck. Uh, like Burger King has come out with a cologne now. Have you seen? I'm not making it up. They are. They come out with a cologne, you know it, called Flame. They've captured the essence of flame broiled meat in a cologne. Yeah. Which is, not, it's a lot cleaner than actually smearing the Whopper all over you. <laughs> Before you head out for a night on the town. I have no idea why they did this. I'm, I'm struggling in my mind to figure out what the strategy is with a cologne that smells like flame broiled meat. I, what do you, do you put this on and go hang outside a Jenny Craig? Go pick up the hungry girls? That's because that seems a little unfair. I think, I think we're tickling an ethical line there. Trying to tell the ladies, hey girls, you can have it your way. Anyways, it's a bad idea. Guys, if you're, if you're thinking about it, do not wear this cologne and go out at night. I know what's going to happen. You're going to get with your buddies. You're going to go out for a night out and come last call. You know, it gets late at night. Your buddy's going to turn to you and go, dang, Bill. You smell good. <laughs> Can't get you out of my mind, Bill. Oh, <laughs> uh, no. No, Bill, I'm not thinking Arby's, dude. <laughs> I'm thinking you, my friend.
What else is a mess? Everything's healthcare. Still a mess. Woo! Yes. I love it. I, my, my favorite, you know, how bad healthcare story is, is there's a, I read the story about a cat in a nursing home that they say could predict when a person was going to die. That's where healthcare is at. <laughs> Taking medical opinions from cats. Well, this guy, they say, this cat hops into bed with someone, that, that person will pass away in the next 24 hours. And the cat's never been wrong. Which for me, another reason not to like cats. <laughs> I knew they acted like they know everything. I didn't think they actually did. But this cat hops into bed with someone that's going to pass away in the next few hours. And, and the theory is that the cat has some sort of psychic ability to sense when a person's soul is ready to leave their body. That's the theory. Me? I think the cat has a very deadly disease. <laughs> Anybody running that down? We jump to conclusion. I mean, if it was a pigeon flying in through the window, we'd all be screaming bird flu pandemic. But with a little kitty cat, oh, he's psychic. No, the cat has the plague. Get rid of the cat. At the very least, next time he gets into bed with somebody, call a doctor right away. Just stand there going, wow, looks like this is the end, Mrs. Jenkins. Kitty says, you got to go. <laughs> There's nothing more we can do. <laughs> like, how terrifying is it for these poor people in a nursing home? <laughs> Horrible. It's, it's like living in a Stephen King novel. <laughs> Every day you got little Kitty Kevorkian coming for your soul. <laughs> For me, I'd have pie tins on my bed, wind chimes. <laughs> He's throwing tender vittles on the guy next to me. Over there, Kitty! Get up there! Economy's <laughs> nuts. I'm going, I'm going to go to Fort Hood, Texas next week and entertain our troops. <laughs> While I'm there, I'm going to fill out a job application. <laughs> That's what it's coming to. But uh, they, they wouldn't take me. And the Army doesn't want guys like me anymore. I'm, I'm 40 years old. I've been married 11 years. I've got three kids. The Army can't mentally break me down anymore. <laughs> Those games don't work on guys like us. We, we show up to boot camp. Some drill sergeant yelling at us going, You pathetic pile of maggot droppings. You are worthless and weak. Yeah. <laughs> a load of genius over there. Figure that one out on your own? Or did you read my last annual review? <laughs> we love it, man. We get what you, we lights out at eight o'clock, really? <laughs> no, you're not, you're not playing. I get to go to bed at eight. I love look at how clean this floor is. <laughs> This, this is what I'm talking about. This, this is how I want to live.